In that one, we were only, it was only possible to see digital voice, short messaging. The technology, basically FDMA, frequency division multiplexing access, that was the technology used in 1G, but it was not compatible, you know. So the scientists introduced, the researchers introduced another technology in 2G or 2.5G, which was time division multiplexing access or code division multiplexing access. Again, it was uh, evolved uh, in 3G also, which is also called uh, integrated high quality audio and video recovery packets, except interference. So 5G is more than one gigabits per second. So if you if we notice that there is a big gap between 4G and 5G data rate, so 5G is the most most uh, rapid technology which can possibly change our daily life and use. Uh, now, the most important thing which we are going to start uh, that which directions uh, are the most suitable and hot topics for future generation wireless communication. So let me give you a basic uh, thing. In figure A, you can see that the there is a one cell, there is a one antenna like the base station. It can and there are users available. The important thing which is used in 5G wireless communication is millimeter waves. So millimeter waves is one of the topic which we can work for the future generation of wireless communication. Why we call it millimeter? Basically, the main thing is that it has a very less wavelength because, you know, wavelength and frequency are reciprocal of each other. So whenever some wave has very short wavelength, then the frequency is going to be very high. In other words, millimeter waves uh, is called also the short wave communication. Uh, and uh, it's required for the short, because whenever, when we transmit the signal, if we have the long wavelength, so according to the date required, and millimeter waves also require large antenna, because the antenna length also inversely proportional to the uh, frequency. So when uh, the signal is transmitted for the millimeter wave in 5G communication, it is short communication, like we require large amount of antennas deployed at the different locations. And the next one in figure B, it is showing that it is the one of the example of device to device communication. Like we have tablets, we have smart watches, we have smart headphones, everything is like the smart. So we need to connect those devices with only our cell phone. That is why we call it a device to device communication. It can be connected with the smart watch and other like the tablet or can be connected to the network. The C, in figure C, there is one example, vehicular to vehicular communication. To home, we, which we represent with V2X or V2V communication. Uh, if uh, like, you know, in China has also uh, developed the driverless car. So to locate, if, if one driver, like one, uh, one vehicle, is moving towards other location. So how can we, other vehicle can notice its location? How can we find its location? So that is called vehicular to vehicular communication because you know most of the times vehicles are moving with some speed. So that's why it requires velocity. And other in picture D, that is a dense network. In the like, if we go in any of the place, like a big crowd in any of the park, in a stadium, the, there are so many people using cell phones. But at that time, there, the, the network is called 
dense network because everyone has the cell phone and in one cell the data the people the users are very congested with each other so that communication is also the other one last but not the Every user covers a different area that is non orthogonally operated. The next important thing is uh, transmission bandwidth, like coordinated radio, ultra wide bandwidth, and millimeter wave communication. We have recently talked about. And uh, the important promising direction is the spectrum reuse. Whenever there are, like if we discuss the ultra dense network when you are, we can use the spectrum like uh, if i make a hole and then if i am moving to some direction and there is another user who also make a call there must some interference occurs between two users so that is how to decrease that interference or how to cancel that interference is also an important task for future generation wireless communication. Cooperation. Now, how can one user cooperate with the small base station? If you notice in this figure, the base station and there is a small access point. Like I said, in millimeter wave technology, we install numerous access points to communicate short and that access point send the signal to the base station. And also the user also send the signal to the base station. So the user and the base station and the access point in the base station both need cooperation. Another thing, com connecting uh, massive devices. So I enlist the basic uh, technologies which are used in 5G communication. The first one is massive mean and it also increased boosts and how to increase system capacity 
uh, maybe some of you have heard about uh, special modulation. Uh, it is uh, also a really good technology which has been evolving in index modulation. And uh, NOMA, non orthogonal multiplexing axis. Compressed sensing. Compressed sensing is a new paradig paradigm which is uh, a very important uh, technology, signal processing used for wireless communication, which is also a hot topic, artificial intelligence, millimeter wave communication, 3D channel. Here, I have distinguished a basic concept and differentiation between the two systems, which is the first left one is conventional MIMO OLT system. What is MIMO? MIMO is multiple input, multiple output system. So in this uh, system, at first, there are some steps given at the transmitter side, and there are some steps given at the receiver side. Uh, the transmitter encode the system like uh, whenever the transmitter receive uh, input bits, it uh, code the channel, and after that, the modulation takes place. The modulation can be of the any type, like uh, QSM, QAM, and the layer mapping, the recording. In 6G technology, the receiver. At the transmitter, we can transmit the signal using my mobile system. However, the receiver could be based on AI, artificial intelligence yes, receiver. If any of you wants to work on the receiver side, then he can use AI technology to detect the signal. He can use AI technology to estimate the channel. He can use AI technology to remove interference so it requires in based AI module here is the massive SM SM stands for special modulation memo system and special modulation is a very important modulation technique which is used in upcoming 5G communication. If you notice that there, there is a one user, the user one is a K, one user have NT number of antennas, like one, two, up to NT, it could be any number. But the important thing is that the signal, the user has only one RF chain. So for example, if the user send one information, it chooses only one antenna to transmit the signal. However, there are several antennas available. If we usually in a special multiplexing system, every each antenna, like if you notice that in the receiver side, there are one, two MRF RF chains. The similar system, if we use the MIMO system at the user side, it has several RF chains. But the SM technology only uses one RF chain, which decreases the cost because RF chain require hardware cost electronic material. <laughs> so there are some open problems in wireless communication. The first one, which technology uh, I discussed before, is a massive memo technology. So there are the most important problem is near field versus far, far field channel. In millimeter waves. Distance is the most important thing because in millimeter waves, the distance between is the millimeter wave is very short. So the distance between the user and the access point must be very short. If the user is going far away from the access point, the channel can be far field channel. So in this technology, we can, everyone can work to design the distance based channel. How, if first user is moving farther from the antenna or the base station, so how the channel can be designed that can communicate a far field channel. Another important topic is pilot contamination. Very large antenna array design, you know, 
if there are large number of antinodes. So how to design an algorithm that is that can receive that can extract the transmitted signal, energy consumption and cost. Energy, if we use massive number of antennas, for example, if one antenna consumes two milliwatt power, and if you use hundred antennas, the power will become two to multiply by hundred, it will become two hundred milliwatt. The power is increasing. That's why the energy consumed will also consumption will also increase. Increasing antenna also increases the cost because one antenna costs some price so this is also an important problem that how can we design a robust system that has low cost or that can consume very less energy another important factor radio access technique that i discussed there are numerous radio access technologies uh, which previously uh, i discussed like FDMA, OFDMA, special modulation. So simultaneously accommodating all the way. The first open problem is simultaneously accommodating all devices. How can we accommodate all devices at the same time? Because sometimes if the number of users increasing and making the call, the call is interrupted. Like if we say, in other words, simultaneously accommodate, how can we reduce the interference between the users. So someone can work on the interference reduction between the users or interference reduction between the sales. Another is computational complexity. When we increase the number of antennas or when we increase any of the system, its computational complexity also increases. For example, if I use two antennas, three antennas, and uh, I want to extract, I want to detect that information from that uh, uh, transmitter, it will, if I use one antenna, it will consume less time to detect that data. But if there is maybe three antennas, then it will require more amount of complexity to detect the signal. Uh, robustness, replacing of OFBM. Uh, OFBM is an old, old technology which was used in 4G and LTE systems. Nowadays, in 5G, OFBM has been replaced by NOMA, non orthogonal replacing access. The most important thing everyone talks about artificial intelligence, it has been taking a very uh, important role in wireless communication, which can be used as a combinatorial optimization. And at the receiver side, when the receiver receives large amount of data because the number of users are increasing and the, which carries large amount of data, so signal detection is becoming very difficult. So how to extract, how to detect the accurate transmitted signal, artificial intelligence can be used. And also, like I said, channel estimation. And channel estimation, we can also use uh, artificial intelligence. In the previous slide, uh, I talked about the compressed uh, sensing. It is also an important paragraph which is uh, uh, creating a very potent rule in wireless communication. The compressed sensing can be used in three important technologies, three important factors, three important places in wireless communication. The first one is sparse estimation and the support identification and sparse detection. So if if in, in 5G communication, uh, the channel is usually sparse. Sparse means there are more number of zeros. Maybe in the next session, if it is possible to arrange, I can give you more detailed explanation about the compressed sensing, how it can be used in several aspects of uh, wireless communication, and uh, how it is important in communication uh, 
actually this uh, DVD is only about the overview about the future direction which if you want to do the research maybe if you, you can read how, uh, what is compressed sensing and how it is applicable to the wireless uh, communication technology so thank you so much uh, if uh, anyone has any question uh, you can feel free to ask me okay let me read the question what is the new project in communication technology uh, I discussed about the several aspects like you can work on the massive memo technology and millimeter wave technology and the signal processing algorithms uh, in several aspects uh, of uh, wireless